again, for those that are coming in a little bit uh, late, that we'll have we will have a recording of this, um, so the we'll be able to share that out uh, with the rest of the team as we go and we wrap this up. We'll, we'll post this out on the website for everyone to look at. Um, again, wanted to thank everyone for coming in uh, and joining the call today. I want to do uh, just a little agenda of what we're going to go through. I'm going to um, introduce Screen Wizard for you that are not familiar with the application, throw us through a couple slides, going through some PowerPoint, and then I want to go, go right into the application itself and then walk you through what Green Wizard can do. Um, as you'll see here, you know, it's really simple. Our tool is a, we are a database of product information to simplify green buildings. We've given you a host of tools to um, simplify that process from research, evaluation, documentation, setting up and managing that information in projects, tracking that information as it retains to lead certification, and then integrating that information directly into Lead Online. So let's touch on a couple of the key points of this. Um, and as we go in here, um, problems and challenges, this is just in the general marketplace. So the biggest problem in the market right now is there's multiple, pro there's multiple places to find this product information, lots of different sources, going directly to the manufacturer for a website, um, going to third-party certification groups, going to Cradle to Cradle, going to Declare, going to all these groups and finding products that meet this criteria. This is very time-consuming and this is costing you guys a lot of billable hours. Um, on top of that, if we're not going directly to that source, we get the we run the risk of inaccurate information coming across our desk, things that are being provided by the subcontractor, things that are going out there and um, that may be used in, inappropriately or just information that may be old. So we want to streamline all of those things. Um, also, we want to go in here and evaluating the product information depending on what it is you're doing with the products in terms of the project, maybe you're doing it for a collection of your, your organization, for your firm. Um, the lead online portion, obviously Green Wizard is a, a key component to that, but we are not just a lead online tool. Um, and the collaboration piece. These are things that are going out into the market and causing a lot of extra time on your projects. So the solution that we've provided for you to that is a single source, basically a conduit of information directly from the manufacturer into our site and into you, the user. Um, this is the only way that our system works. We've got now almost almost 1,300 manufacturers, 145,000 building products listed in the system. All of that information provided directly by the manufacturer. It's not provided by Green Wizard. Um, obviously, that then verifies the accuracy of that information, and then. The way we give you this information allows you to search and document and collect it in terms of how you want to organize it. Um, it's clearly defined. It's direct, we have the ability to directly communicate with those manufacturers. So if you're looking for information and maybe an additional point of clarification needs to be made, you can reach out directly to them. You can even have the ability to reach out directly to an architectural rep through our system if you work with a particular person. The back end of this, the solution we offer is the lead online integration, of course. So digging in a little bit deeper, who's using Green Wizard in the industry? Well, a lot of the groups that I'm sure you're, you're familiar with or you may even uh, be working for if you've joined the call, um, a lot of the top design and construction firms from you know, ZGS, HKS, Smith Group, HDR, uh, Jacobs, all of the leading design firms, um, as well as the teams that they work with on the construction side when these projects go vertical, both design, bid, build, and design, bid projects. Uh, going into Swinerton, Beck Group, Clark, Turner, uh, DPR, Balfour Beatty, all great customers of ours that use this system to streamline and shave an enormous amount of time and hours out of their projects. So what are our customers saying? We, we bring this slide up and I love to use this as an example. This is a great case study for um, Synergy. Both HKS and Balfour Beatty ran a, a very large project through the system over probably 24 months selecting materials as they're running the specs, passing that information down into Balfour Beatty, who was then tracking all the information through the application and submitted all of the MR and IQ credits through Green Wizard, um, had phenomenal results, much, much more streamlined. Even um, we've gotten great feedback from the GBCI review team that the product information and the way we deliver it when it's reviewed in, in Lead Online is much easier to use through Green Wizard. So big picture, what we want to talk about is the collaboration piece. We give each individual aspect of the team uh, a tool in Green Wizard to utilize and save time on their job. Um, from the building owner and the directors of sustainability at the, pro at the owners of the firm to the architect, the lead AP, 
um, going down into the specifying and the librarian, and also as we go into the you know past CDs and the constructions, the engineer, general contractor, and subcontractor all collaborating in one place, eliminating those vertical silos and collaborating in one tool that allows them to share information. Transparency and disclosure, obviously a hot topic, something we've uh, continued to talk about uh, over the last year, um, both hosting webinars on HPDs and in this product transparency piece, we've hosted all of the letters of transparency from the design firms that are going out to manufacturers. That's directly on our website. Um, all of the key attributes of this are collected in Green Wizard and individual components of that. So life cycle assessment, EPDs, HPDs, um, chemicals of concern based on the living building challenge, cradle to cradle, declare, all key factors, both, again, USGBC is driving this with lead V4, which we're supporting, but also living building challenge and some other criteria that are driving this ahead. So very, very easy, and very granular in getting information to that level. Some of those partners, I've talked about USGBC, uh, I've talked about some others, but um, Architecture 2030, International Living Futures, um, as well as leading um, third-party groups in the industry, Cradle to Cradle, BIFMA, Declare, SCS, um, HPDC, all great partners of us helping to drive this cause and this information forward. So some key features, and then we're going to jump into the demo. So we've got, obviously, multi-attribute search criteria, um, detailed views, so really getting into the information that goes into the system, products from our database can go into a larger, um, into an organization-specific library. So really allowing you guys to hone in and save time repeatedly searching for information, you can pull it down into your own library. Um, in terms of lead and project tracking, we give you uh, lots of tools to get into specific granular data, lead tracking, um, and then simplifying, of course, not just the products themselves, the documentation, and then pushing that information to the lead forms and submitting it up into lead online. Um, we also support a, um, the EA credit, the prerequisite in credit two for the energy reduction calculator that we have in the system. It takes a lot of time off the table in terms of you guys manually entering this data into the forms. So with that being said, I'm going to stop for a moment and I'm going to jump right into the demo itself. I'm going to pull up our website here and I'm going to go here to log in. I'll log into the application and I'm going to go in here and log into my, uh, my demo account, username and password. It lands us on a dashboard page. So this is for my organization. Depending on the number of people in the account, everyone has access to this particular page. There's a couple key components that we want to walk you through. I want to kind of, this is kind of a highlight reel, if you will, of what the system can do. Um, what we're going to talk about at the end of this call is how you guys can, can take a, a deeper dive into this. So, the components of the system are specifically the search component at the top of the page, getting into our database, the library component, which is managing the information for your organization, the communication tools of sending RFIs and communicating with manufacturers, and then the project component. The project component is managing individual projects, the products, material selections, data for them, and then pushing that product information up into lead online. So at the top level, Getting into the search component, this is an incredibly powerful tool. There's a lot of information to get to, and it really depends on the job, your particular role at a, at a company to how you want to use this part. Selecting it, data coming from manufacturers, coming from your projects, so we allow you to data mine your projects in Green Wizard, and then allow you to search for information in your library. So I'm going to take these two parts off, and I just want to allow uh, manufacturer-provided data. You've got keyword, you've got master format number, of course, what's going to be the backbone of our, our database is drilling into specific categories and saying, you know, I'm looking for a particular, um, you know, rough carpentry, finished carpentry. We can go into, you know, and drill down to each specific component of that, you know, thermal moisture protection and drill into a subcomponent, depending on what it is we're looking for, that's one option. Of course, we can go in here, if you're the general contractor, you're going to say, the specs are written, I'm just going to pull out a, a particular company. So I can go in here and type in Sherwin-Williams, and I can pull up Sherwin-Williams paint, or I can go in, you know, GF is my roofing call-out, so I can type in GF. Um, if I just type in a couple first letters, it'll show you the drop-downs of the manufacturers are going to match. This is the component about the transparency that we've really spent a lot of time with. Products across our entire database that have EPDs, HPDs, cradle-to-cradle -cradle certifications, um, chemicals of free or chemicals of concern, 
And then we get into the, the bottom component here, which is additional criteria. I can go in, based on a project that you've set up, I can determine regional components based on the extraction and manufacturing location against the project geocoded. I can go in here and set thresholds for writing to see if a spec can be written. Obviously, we may not want to call out one particular company, but can a particular carpet or paint be called out in my specs based on performance attributes? Pre and post consumer content, VOC content, FSC content, what manufacturers are in, I'll just show you a quick example here. We're going to go to paints and coatings, and I'll go into 0900, go into finishes, go into paints and coatings, and I'm going to set a threshold here of 25 grams per liter or less for VOC content of all the paints and coatings in the system. I want to start looking and doing some research on what I can write into my spec. So I've got 238 materials that can, or paints that can meet that spec. I can go in here and quickly filter those search results down further. I can go in here and select this, and now all these companies, all these manufacturers can meet that spec with the number of products they carry. I can also say, what about those particular products being less than 25 grams per liter have certifications or declarations that I want to make include? You know, maybe it's South Coast Air Quality Management or um, you know, Green Guard certified or chips or other criteria that may be important to you. So, for instance, I can go and say, okay, I'm going to knock down Sherwin Williams and Rust Oleum and Benjamin Moore and I'll pull in Glidden and I'll pull in PPG. Those are the five materials, five manufacturers that I want to start my spec around, apply filter, and now I've got down, I'm now down to 103 products. Out of that, I can continue to refine down that search. Filter the results. Out of those five companies left, maybe there's something else in here. South Coast Air Quality Management, because I'm going for a particular lead credit on that. Apply filter. Again, I went from a large, large criteria to a very, very specific search of materials that I can now meet a particular spec around. This is also great for the, for the contractor coming back in behind you in Green Wizard saying, you call that five manufacturers, you pull these five products into your project, I can pick any one of them and move ahead with my documentation. All my credit information is also being collected. I've got backup docs, I've got the VOC content, I've got third-party certifications that are going to qualify. Another example of this is the, the transparency information is very quickly getting down to, show me every product that has an EPD. Right across the board, I'm actually going to do a, um, I'm going to clear this as a new search. Strike off my 25 grams per liter, any location, clear paints and coatings, and search every product with an EPD. Instantly go out in the database, and I find 704 products out there with EPD information. So instead of going to 50 websites, I've narrowed down a very, very specific search about my project or for things I'm doing with my firm. Apply those search results. Here's the manufacturers and the number of products they have with those EPDs. And again, now they have an EPD. What else is important about that product that I want to write down or I want to pull into the project? For example, I can go in here and, you know, Knopf insulation. I can view details. I've got information on the product images, things like that, a carousel of images to see what I'm looking at, description, performance, and detailed information. And then I get into the green criteria, pre and post consumer content, formaldehyde off-gassing, free of all chemicals of concern, multiple extraction and harvest locations. You've got your UL environment criteria here. You've got their life cycle impact data. And you've got all the backup documentation. So I can literally go in here and say, oh, I didn't know they had a declare label. Instead of going out to the manufacturer's website, Knopf has come in and put the time into Green Wizard to put all this product information available at your fingertips. That conduit idea that I referenced earlier is put back in your hands. So as that pulls up, I can also generate a green summary for this. I can generate a, a full takeaway sheet for this product. Let that generate as well. And I apologize, my PDF writer is a little slow. I didn't have it opened up earlier. Um, I can, so at this point, so there's my documents. I've got all the takeaway information from this Kanoff listing in Green Wizard. I can share this with my colleagues. I can send it to the owner. I can send it into the architect for approval as a, um, as a submittal piece. You still got hot links out to all these documents that are in Green Wizard. All this information is available at their fingertips. On top of that, 
I can go out here and say, okay, what is it I want to do with this product? I want to drop this in my library, so I want to use it again, and I don't want to have to do a search for it. Instantly move all that information into your library. We'll touch that in a second. Then we get into projects. It goes out into the project. All that information is copied down into my project, so I don't have to rekey and track that data. I go into demo projects for lead tools, add to selected project. It's going to ask me what particular credits I want to track it for and recycle content. It has a regional component for my project. Um, I've got specific labels that are customizable to your firm that you can use. I can assign it to particular people on my project. I can even track the cost information. So I'll put in 23,000 and change. I'm going to save and go to the project. So I've taken information out of Green Wizard, moved it into my project. All the specific criteria I'm going to need to track for lead or other criteria are now in the project. The backup documents are there. It's taken me to a directory listing, basically. All the materials in my project are just like I added this Kanoff product, are now listed in the system here. So if I scroll down, I've got a couple hundred products listed. All the information's there. It automatically, you'll see these little tags that say MR, they have maybe has, these are all for recycled content. This one's also for certified wood. As I mentioned, that product information is automatically dropped into a tracking tool. So I click on this MR tracking piece. The system automatically populates the lead criteria that these particular products have. So you'll see here the different credits. I'm going to show and hide some credits, so we just focus on one. Um, we'll just focus on reused, recycled material. I'll take these other ones off so we condense down the sheet. And it instantly pre-populated just that column for us. And this is more of a working document. Lead Online was not meant to be a working tool. It's a submittal portal. We've given you now the tools at your disposal. All this data came in right from our system. This left column here, you'll see cost. That's always going to be provided by the contractor, general contractor. That's not something Green Wizard provides for you guys. That's going to be a, a specific to the project. You'll see here project cost at the bottom. It's running my calculations on total cost and running my calculations for recycled content, two points earned potentially. Any, any of these criteria across MR or IQ can be calculated here. I'm just showing you one as a highlight. You can print this out. It'll give me a full PDF printout for your meetings, for your meetings with clients or other team members. You'll see here there's red fields and there's green fields. The red fields are missing information. Very easily calls out what we're missing but at the same time, it also allows us to know that we've tracked a good amount of this information and we're well above our two-point threshold. We may even get exemplary performance based on some additional information being put in. Close these out. Now go back here. We can also export this information out to an Excel spreadsheet for you guys as a, uh, as a takeaway at the end of the project. We can dump that down. From here, I'm going to go back to this product list. Any of these materials are also available to find other information. So a great example of this is the, con the design team expects a, a set of materials and contractor or subcontractor wants to come in and say, I want to find a different material that meets that criteria. So let me just go in here and I'll find a, pick something we want to make a, a takeaway from. We'll use maybe a different type of paint or um, we used that example earlier. So I'll go in here and scroll down to the bottom, actually, make it even an easier top here. We can go in here and there are some Sherwin-Williams products. We can go in and do a find similar. What that does is it knocks down these materials. I can hit find similar and it will show me the same or the same or exceeding that specification. You'll see what it just did. It reversed the search engine in 0991.23. At least uh, zero pre-consumer, zero post-consumer, rapid renewable, zero pre-consumer pre-consumer content, and then the BOT content was actually zero or less. So it's matching that across all the other materials in the system and gave me 103 options. The benefit of that was it also searched my projects that I've used and my library. So you'll see here this came out of a project that I've used before. I can still use those filter results where I can shine other manufacturers that I can meet that spec with, and I can do the same process of dropping in a new product into the project. Saves a ton of time on the, main, on, the, on the contractor side. I'm going to go back here. Now, from the project piece, we can also go into the, to the goals for lead. 
and all this information moves right into the tracking, from the tracking piece right into Lead Online from our system. Um, I would link the project to Lead Online, and then I can go here, drop the information directly into our credit forms, and move the information then directly into Lead Online. So I'll walk you through that really quick. I'm going to link this project. I'm going to sign in here with my demo account for Lead Online. It's going to link my account, and this is all happening in real time. We all know how slow and time-consuming Lead Online can be. I've just logged in. It's pulled the two projects that I have access to. Link the project. It's going to go up there and verify I have credentials to that particular project. Now I've got two green check marks. Over on the right, you'll see our Lead Online integration services. The top piece is Green Wizard. The bottom piece is a portal into, green, into Lead Online. So I'm going to go to the overview page again. I'll go for just for a different example. I'll go into the IEQ credits, and I'll pull in one of the paints and coatings idea, uh, credits. I'll go into low mini materials for um, paints and coatings, select more. I'm going to update this credit form, and we've mapped the PDFs. We don't work in the PDFs like Lead Online. We've mapped them to our system so we can populate the data and send it over. Give it a second. I think my go-to mini is running a little bit slow there. All right. So now it's pulled up the credit form. Uh, you're going to go through here, and it's already populated the information. You've identified in your tracker the product type and function. It's set the VOC limit based on that selection. The VOC limit's all checked off here, manufacturer provided. We can even pre-populate. As you add these materials and you select that you want to track the backup documentation, Green Wizard will pick up those selections, which this is good for one, or we can add additional information right here. Um, you'll see, if I change this from interior paints and coatings and primers to non-flat paint, it changed the VOC limit, cross-checked it with the VOC content of the product, and we're still within the limit. So all that information is done for you. I initial the form. I can digitally sign my forms in Grain Wizard. Hit continue. One point earned. We're in good shape for this one. I can literally now send that information over to Lead Online and populate the data right from here. I hit save and update the credit form. It's going to take me to the next piece to verify the information. So I'm in progress, paints and coatings. I've got additional documentation I can upload. It picked up the one product that I identified. I can attach existing documents that are already in the system. Here's all the backup docs that I already have for all these products. If I want to put all these in here, simply select all. Everything now for all these different paints are attached saving all that collection time you guys have done at the end of the project. There's all my product docs attached. Each product, it shows me when and who has done it, so you've got an audit log of activity. Now I'm ready to go over here and send the information. I've got 23 files signed by this person. I can view, change the information. I would simply go here to synchronize. Nothing happens automatically. Every Green Wizard wants you to do this individually for form. So I'm going to go to IQ 4.1, send that data. It's going to walk you through. Basically, this is a summary of all the data fields we're going to populate. You're about to send the following information to lead online for IQ 4.1, and nothing actually happens until we go to the very bottom here and hit send. I'm not going to do that because it's going to take a couple seconds to send all those PDFs up. That's the point where you'll get a data successfully sent. I can literally go to verify that. I could open another tab in Lead Online and sign in to see it from their site, or I could go to the scorecard piece here and pull in the information, go into, this is a view of your scorecard just like Lead Online. I could go to the IQ section, pull up this PDF. Now, if I would have sent this information, um, 4.2, I could pull that form up and verify the information's up there as well. Um, this will pull up in a second here, and I also want to look at the, the portion over here where the documents are. Instead of having to drill into products, I mean into particular credits, go into the upload form section, and then drill into the, pro the documents, you've got a quick portal right here where I can see everything that's living in the project. 
as that pulls up for a second, and I'll just show you that component. Every product that's uploaded to this project, broken out by credit category, available right here for you. So if all those documents went up, you would have access to them from right here. So really easy to do there. And you'll see here, this is the IQ form. I didn't send the information up, but it will pre-populate all these forms, all these data fields right out of the system. So you don't have to rekey any of that information. All right, the last piece I want to talk about real quick is the library section. So back to that dashboard, we've walked through the, the project-specific component of this. Now I want to go back through the, um, the library component. So if I go to the library, this gives you a great opportunity to manage information. There are certain people per office or even across the whole firm that are managing this information, doing this research, trying to keep this information up to date, which is an impossible task. We've got some of the biggest customers in the world using our system to, take, to tackle that problem. It's, it's just too much to do in-house. Um, basically what we've done is given you a, a, a place to manage all that product information as a subset of Green Wizard's database. I've got 213 products in here. The default view is by SI division and it shows you the number of products in each category. I can also build custom labels so I can tag products with saying, you know, my the Boston office, the Philadelphia office, the Atlanta office, Dallas, San Francisco, and Seattle can all have different tags for products that they use most often or want to, something they've included in their specifications that may be different from their other office. I can also then use and, and share across the firm, what are we most using in Green Wizard? So everything that gets put into a project gets tracked against your own library. So I can say, for instance, that Knopf EcoBat installation we picked now gave it, it shows me the number of projects I've used this on. I can hit view. Maybe I'm not, familiar with this particular product. Um, it shows me all the same information like before, but now you get two other tabs that say usage. It tells me every project I've used this material on. I want to share information with my firm. How do we do that right now? It's almost impossible for multiple offices. I can quickly go in and say, I've used this material before. It tells me the project name, the location, the square footage, the size. And if you've noticed, there is no pricing information in Green Wizard. This is particularly important to architects where we don't typically get pricing information. It's not, our, not really something we typically deal with. Contractors, it's going to be based on project to project, volume pricing, different discounts. Anyone that's tracking this information in Green Wizard, as we're getting into the information in the MR credit tracker, it will track cost. It will even mark the product as purchased if it's been installed in the building. So we've got a price point that's very, very specific to something we're familiar with. We can also go in here and make comments and reviews. So we'll go back and uh, I'll look at a different product. Go back to that library component and I'll pick up, um, let's go in here to masonry. I think I've got a couple comments on one of these products in here. So I'll go in here and uh, view usage and reviews. So just a different way to get to the information. And I can go in here, and other people at my firm have made comments on this product. I'm not familiar with CalSTARS utility brick or CalSTARS products, but there's a few other people that have used this product. They can make comments on how it's installed, how well it's performed. It performs in better climates in the southwest than it does in the northeast. Whatever you guys want to share, really, really simple tools to communicate. Again, same tools here with usage. tells me what products and what projects I've used this on and the details piece. You can also go in here and add additional information. Once it's in your project, in your library, you can go in here and add additional supporting documents. If there's something particular that you want to look at or something of submittal, something that's product specific, you can still track all that information in your library. It's not shared in our database. It's not shared with anyone else. While we're in here, I want to touch on one component which we highlighted in the, the HPD webinar a few weeks back. Very, very granular information of how we're collecting documents. If I select the document, or this is how the manufacturers also put this information in our system, they go in here and say, I want to look for an HPD. We're very specific on what type of information we're collecting so that we can reply and show that information into the search. If this product is an HPD, what type of HPD? You know, materials, ingredients, option one, full disclosure down to 1,000 parts per million. Option two, has a green screen indicator down to 100 parts per million with a no benchmark one hazards, both one and two, or doesn't qualify for V4. 
same type of things we're going in for cradle to cradle, you know, what level of cradle for cradle, cradle to cradle certification, even with uh, EPDs. So, again, it needs to be a type three specific or in, industry wide H EPD to qualify for LEED V4. We also want to get the program operator, the validates. All this information is being collected by the manufacturer, but if there's something missing in the system or you have some of this information, which we will help you upload into the system and walk you through, you can collect that same level of detail from your own side. All right. That walks through most of the information. The request center is the last component of this. Anything in the system can be dialogued with these manufacturers. I can go and say, this is my team working across the board on, uh, on my consulting team working on this project, looking for information. I can create a new request, and from the search, maybe it's from a project specific, you have the ability to go in here. I'll just give you an example. I'll go back through the, uh, we'll find the most recent one that got sent out. Um, just pick on a reference number, and you can see information that goes out into here. Project information, a specific request from a person going out, they even attach the product that it goes to so they know exactly what they're getting. When the if National Gypsum came back with that product, it would be attached to you. You could drop it into your library. You could drop it right into your project. So you don't have to re-enter the information versus requesting it for an email or doing a phone call follow-up. They're faxing you information. They're sending you PDFs. Where does that go? There's all these additional steps for it to, call, to go through. We've collected it under one big umbrella. Green Wizard's collecting that for your firm and for your projects. All right. I'm going to jump out of the app and go back into that presentation for just a few more pieces. So what can we what can Green Wizard do for you? Obviously there's some key components. The saving time on the project and in the research component is we wanted to really drill into that. We want to show you guys exactly how we do that. It's a product management tool. It's an on it's a lead online tool for you guys. The efficiencies are all over the board, and it really doesn't matter the role you have in the project, from the interiors team, from the specifications team, the lead AP, the general contractor, even the subcontractor. The information is valid, it's kept up to date, and it's provided by the manufacturers. The only thing in the marketplace that's providing that level of information, as I talked about, we are the largest database of product information and grow at a very rapid rate, month to month. Products are being loaded by the thousands in the system. Manufacturers, there is no barrier to entry for a manufacturer to come into Green Wizard. It's 100% free for a manufacturer to load products in our system. This, of course, translates down to saving money for you guys. Every hour saved off a project is, is money saved into the firm and, you know, getting, getting that triple bottom line. This is really where we want to help you guys from the design through the construction side of any project you guys are working on. Manufacturers really, really love what's gone on and how we've changed the marketplace. Uh, Rochelle from uh, Director of Sustainability at Mohawk, um, we've really changed the way they've come to market. They've taken a very, very hard stance and a very deep dive in their product transparency. We've given them the best way to come to market with that information, presenting it exactly how the industry wants to see it. What our customers are saying on the same side, um, the design and construction firms love how we're getting this information in front of them. We've solved a huge pain point in terms of product transparency, disclosure, accuracy of information, not having to go to all these different sources. And really the biggest factor here is the repetition. Every project you guys set up, you're going to have to go back to the manufacturer and validate that that's the most current, that's the most up-to-date information out there. Let the manufacturer do that through Green Wizard. That's the whole concept here to get you guys information that's in real time. Pricing options, this is really simple. Green Wizard is a, we are not a project specific tool. We are a subscription based on seats. So we've got an option for just about any firm out there from a, a single seat to a five seat to an enterprise level. Um, the ROI on these, on these subscription is incredibly fast. Even with an enterprise license, if you've got 10 or 20 people using the system, saving five, 10 hours of time based in a month or two, you've almost paid for the entire subscription. You guys can use this firm-wide, project-specific, all those things are up to you guys. 
It's very easy. It's unlimited projects, unlimited seats at the enterprise level, and training is included and implementation is included in these subscription prices. Now, the final piece of this is why you guys hopefully came in, is this April offer. We're basically launching something April 1st that is a test drive before you buy. Um, this is to get started. We're going to send you a link after attending the webinar so you can sign up for this. Want to collect some basic information, set up a particular project. As we've shown you, many of the tools in the system are based around project activities, and that's what we need you to do to activate all that information. It's a free account, unlimited access, full tools, everything we've shown at no charge. So it's 30 days from the time you sign up for the account. Um, basically, for to qualify for this, you need to be a design firm, an arch, you know, an engineering firm, or a contractor. Um, so we do have to review the information to make for sure you qualify under one of those criteria. Um, and as I mentioned, the registration link will be sent out after the webinar. Um, something else I want to kind of get out there is when you guys register for this, we're going to be hosting webinars, basically quick training, up, get up to speed on Green Wizard. By doing, we've listed about 10 key functions in the application, by doing at least five of those tools, you're going to be able to garner a 10% discount if you um, choose to move forward with the subscription after the trial period. So this is really a, you know, put them at, you know, put this down to the where the rubber meets the road. If the subscription works, if we've got a good fit for you guys, we're going to give you a great offer at the end of this program. Oh, and I lost my PowerPoint there. And the last piece of this, obviously, as I said, we're going to send out the um, the webinar, the registration link after we've got the email addresses for all those that attended. This will also go live on our website with more information starting April 1st. I um, want to thank everyone for attending the call. If you have any questions or comments or thoughts, please contact me directly. Um, any member of our team would love to help you guys out, would love to work with you. Um, we look forward to, to seeing you guys sign up for the trial um, and, of course, joining the webinars that will follow in the coming weeks. Thank you guys so much. Hope you have a great afternoon.